Oh my god guys, welcome to another video. Today's video tutorial is going to be very very helpful. But before we continue with the video guys, it's very helpful to me and for the oh my god community to grow, for you to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you find this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and again, subscribe. Let's begin. Oh my god. Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at proportional relationship tables, how to find the constant of proportionality, and how we can use that constant of proportionality in order to guess the characteristics of an unknown value of either x or y in our table. So let's begin. So today, we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting problem in which we have a proportional relationship table. So the problem says that Alan and Andy each go to a hardware store to buy wire. The table shows the relationship between the cost and the length of the wire. Situation A asks, Alan needs 24 feet of wire. How much will he spend on wire? And also Andy needs 13 yards of wire. And how much will he spend on wire? Again, we have our table, and our table is X, which is in inches, and Y, which is going to be the cost in dollars. Now, guys, you have to re you have to remember that it is very important that we have to guarantee that the table indeed has a proportional relationship. In order to do that, we have to remember that in order to find the value of K or the constant of proportionality, we have to divide the value of Y divided by X. So let's try doing that. So we're going to do 480 divided by 120 in order to find the amount of money so to be 0, 0,04 and we're going to try our other values so 54 divided by 135 and that is also going to give us the same value now 6 divided by 150 is also going to give us that same value and 7 divided by 175 is also going to give us that same value of 0, 0,04 meaning that we are indeed talking about a proportional relationship and the value for k is going to be 0, 0,4 now guys in the first example they're saying that Alan needs 24 feet of wire how much will he spend on wire now they're asking us for the value of y which is going to be the cost and they're telling us that it's 24 feet of wire now the value for x here is in inches so in order to know the amount of inches we're going to have to multiply by 12 because you have to remember that one feet is going to be 12 inches so in order to find the amount of inches we're going to multiply by 12 so 24 multiplied by 12 is going to give us 288 inches now you have to remember with the formula y is equal to k times x that y is equal to 0, 0,04 times the value of x which is 288 and that is going to give us an answer of eleven dollars and fifty two cents so that is the amount of money that Alan is going to pay again you have to remember that the variable y is the amount of dollars x is going to be the amount of inches so we have to find out feet in inches and then we use the formula with the value of k we found out now in the situation b we're told that Andy needs 13 yards of wire. Now, 
you have to know that one yard is actually 36 inches. Meaning that in order to find the amount of inches, we have to multiply times 36. So 13 times 36 is going to be 468 inches. Now, of course, he's going to be spending a little bit more of money. So y is equal to 0, 0,04, which is the value of k we found out, times the amount of inches, which is the value of x, which is 468. And then once we multiply that, the amount that Andy is going to have to pay is $1,872. Now, remember that inches is going to be x because we were already told that in the graph and that the amount of money that they were going to pay is going to be y because they already told that too. So guys, it's pretty straightforward. Just remember that in order to use the table, you have to verify if it's a proportional relationship. So find the value of k. And once you have found the value of k, use the formula y is equal to k times x. And make sure that amount of x is in inches in this case. So guys, try doing this problem again, over and over again, until you get it, because practice is key. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.